The customer as a tester. Citroën pursued this strategy from 1969 onwards. Selected customers were able to purchase the Citroën M35 Coupé as a test vehicle. The original plan to build 500 test cars was not realized and so only 267 Citroën M35 left the factory between 1969 and 1971. The M35 Coupé is based on the technology and body of the Army Wheat. However, only a few parts are compatible with the Army Wheat. The doors of the M35 are much longer, resulting in a shorter rear mudguard. Particularly striking is the alternative front. The black radio grille has a modified Chevron logo. With the Citroën M35, the gap to luxury cars of Citroën should be closed. Therefore, the small car had an adapted and a completely changed platform frame to the chassis so that the well-known hydropneumatic suspensions of the DS models could be used. The hydropneumatic system automatically operates the level control system and keeps the ground clearance constant at different loads. Rolls-Royce and Mercedes-Benz acquired a license for this Citroën patent. The hydropneumatic is activated during startup and can be adjusted to different levels. Such a vehicle is unbeatable in winter and the terrain. The heart of the Citroën M35 is a single rotor Wankel engine, which was developed in cooperation between Citroën and NSU and built at the substory company Co-Motor. This engine has a power output of 45 horsepower and can bring the 815 kg heavy coupé to a top speed of maximum 145 km an hour with a capacity of 479.5 cubic centimeters. The luxury interior and the extremely smooth running engine made the Citroën M35 the potential link to the Citroën sedans. The luxury interior and the extremely smooth running engine made the Citroën M35 the potential link to the Citroën sedans. Originally 500 prototypes were to be built, but the oil crisis stopped the production and they concentrated on economical small cars. The vehicle shown here is a prototype with a serial number 89, built after 1970. Oil models have a clearly recognizable logo on the right front fender, on which the serial number is also readable. The number of the remaining prototypes remains within reasonable limits. Engine and ignition problems accelerated the route of many Citroen M35 directional to the scrapyard. 